welcome to another episode of DVTV, bringing you the next wave of digital video. I'm your host, Tony Rally, and today we're going to talk about the new uh, video micro, not to be confused with micro from Dirty Jobs, but the video micro from uh, Rode. Uh, right now we're using the Rode Video Mic Pro, which is kind of my go-to on-camera microphone whenever shooting with a small camera like the A7S. Uh, it's just a great companion with it. It's already small. That when They took the original video mic and they condensed it down to the Video Mic Pro. I'm like, man, this is super small. But Rode just recently came out with the Video Mic Pro, which uh, is along with their Video Mic Go series, which uh, doesn't require an internal battery. Sean is kind of going back and forth, giving you a range for what the audio is with the Video Mic Pro. Uh, so this is kind of the gold standard of what I would use for an on-camera microphone, unless you're shooting with a higher end production camera that allows you to use an XLR input and you want to you know use a nice boom pull, uh, mic like the Rode NTG2, 3 or whatever um, this is going to be kind of the standard for something like an A7S or a or GH4 or something like that so let's go ahead and actually first switch off to the on camera mic so you can see the big difference between using a mic like this and then switch back to the video mic row and then you can see what the difference is there all right, now we're using the on-camera mic of the A7S. Of course, we never, you never expect this to be a good microphone, but this is just a good baseline for you to understand what the initial sound quality is going to be of the camera. So we haven't adjusted any of the levels on there. We haven't done anything different other than just removing the microphone and letting the camera then now record to the onboard microphone. All right, now this is the video mic row. Uh, this thing is super, super tiny when you compare it even to the video mic pro, which like I said before, is already a small microphone. Uh, the audio quality I think is very comparable. It's a great shotgun mic design. Uh, as Sean moves back and forth you can hear the differentiation. I'm not going to change the level of my voice so then you can still hear what it sounds like. Uh, for the fact that this is not a battery powered microphone and the fact that it's so small, the audio quality is really really impressive. Obviously you're best in this shorter range where the microphone is is less than 10 feet away from a person and you're able to you know be able to be close enough to to get rid of any um, you know outside noise we're in a more controlled environment if you're outside or something like that you might run into additional issues a lovelier microphone is always you're going to be your best option but when you're wanting to be run and gun and use something really simple the, the advantage of using these small cameras is that you can just quickly grab great video and even though I shoot on f uh, 700 I constantly find myself grabbing my a7s when I'm in a tight scenario. So this is the Video Micro. Let's go back to the uh, Video Mic Pro and you can hear the final comparison. So there you go. This is back with the Video Mic Pro. So the original mic that we used. There you can see the difference. Quite an improvement over the onboard mic, of course, of the camera. And not that far off from the actual mic of uh, the Video Mic Pro. So it's significantly cheaper than the Video Mic Pro. I really think this is just a great mic to have all around. Now the Video Mic Pro is still a great mic, um, great to have, especially with uh, you know being battery powered. You can get some more output from uh, certain cameras. So, anyways, I'm not an audio pro, but I really do like this little Video Mic Pro. Great addition to your kit. Nice and inexpensive. A hands down, easy buy.